Hello, mate. Finally come around, have you? Well, good for you. I didn't have to wake you by force. Now, now, mate. There's no point in struggling. I tied your wrists tight as a drum. And don't bother calling for help, either. The captain and the rest of the crew have made landfall on an island, and are checking it out while we're on guard duty protecting the ship. Relax, mate. We're just going to have a little chat here. Oh, I think you know damn well what I want to talk to you about. I respect the hustle, but the game's up, chum. Still playing dumb? Well, maybe this will help jog your memory. This look familiar to you? This bag is quite heavy, isn't it? I wonder what's inside. Well, these jewels don't seem like they should be in the hands of lowly crew like you, do they? Not yours, you say? Well, you can claim what you like. But your eyes tell me all I need to know. See, the quartermaster suspected some of the jewels from our latest haul had gone missing. So, I did some asking round. And it turns out, the gunner caught you sneaking about below deck two nights ago when you left the drinking party. He didn't think anything of it at the time drunk as he was, but I thought I'd follow the trail here. And, lo and behold, this bag of jewels was tucked firmly down your bedside. Guilty as charged. No talking your way out of this one. What do you have to say for yourself? I told you, it's useless. It's just you stuck here with me with no way to escape. Although, even if you could try anything, it would be very easy to figure out you are my assailant, and the captain will be sure to come up with a far more cruel punishment than I ever could. Not that I would go down so easily anyway. Believe me, there's nothing I love more than putting cocky traitors like you in their place. Oh, no one else in the crew knows about this yet. Besides the captain, of course. I had to let him know the situation, and I told him to let his trusty first mate handle it. I wanted to learn your true intentions here before I caused a commotion. Situations like this have to be handled delicately. Don't want anyone else getting any bright ideas trying to pull something similarly stupid. Nor do I want them thinking I go around killing crew indiscriminately. Maybe I should have figured you'd try something when you so willingly offered to join the crew after we took control of your merchant vessel. I thought you were just being sensible when you surrendered to us. But in the end, you were just biding your time to make your escape. Recruits like you are all the same. They only have to save your own skin. Well, you swore into our crew, and we have rules here, you know. One, no lying to your fellow crewmates. Two, all spoils are reported to the treasury, and never claimed for oneself. And three, all quarrels are to be settled without violence. This code is absolute or mutiny resulting from the descent in the ranks would lead to the death of us all. That's the oath you took when you joined our crew. For whatever reason someone joins our crew, these rules are to be followed, not just for their sake, but for the sake of everyone. Now, now, what to do with you? Breaking our code is a serious offence, you know. I 
could leave you marooned on this island so you're never seen again. Or I could cut off one of your limbs and feed it to the sharks. I'm spoiled for choice. What do you think? What did you say? You dare. You think you can get off scot-free just by offering me a share of your pilfered goods? You've got some nerve pissing me off in your situation. Oh, I ought to teach you a lesson. You're lucky I ain't gonna maim you so I can avoid questions from the rest of the crew. Otherwise, I'd have lopped your bloody ear off. You got that? You aren't the first person to have tried something like this. Stealing from the crew to line their own pockets. Breaking the code for their own benefit. Every time, the captain has trusted me to keep these low lives in line. And every time they tried to fight back or make a mockery of me, they all met the same grisly end. So, I suggest you watch your tongue before I cut it out, you little shit. Now, I don't want to be unreasonable here, really. You are a solid member of the crew. A fine worker. Took orders well. Never made a fuss. And you were such good fun at drinking parties, my god. You were a riot, I tell you. Honestly, I'm a little disappointed. I was taking quite a liking to you. Given time, I reckon we'd have become good mates. But, given all this, it's a bit late for that now, don't you think? Well, how about we start with a good old eye for an eye? I mean, you nicked from the treasury. Now you return the favour. Along with these jewels, you're going to give up your own belongings. I'm going to turn out your pockets. Don't try anything. Keep in mind, while I'd rather not maim you, it'd be easy enough to kill you and out you as a traitor to the rest of the crew. You'd set a good example for what happens if you cross me. So you'd best behave. Got it? Oh. Now what's this? Who would have thought you'd have such a fancy handkerchief on you? This is some fine embroidery on here. What are these initials in the corner? The family you left behind? Ah, I see. A memento of sorts, eh? I know many sailors carry an object to remind them of the family they're providing for back on land. Strange, though. For as battered and torn as this handkerchief is, it's still clean. And it can't have been cheap to get this embroidery, either. You must really care for your family, don't you, mate? I must admit, I have to respect someone who's so dedicated to their family. You got some low-life scum on ships like these, and very few have any family to speak of. So, someone like you is a proper rarity. I don't know. For some reason, I can't help but feel bad treating you like a low-life now. Hmm. Oh, all right. You're very lucky I have a bleeding knot, you know that? I'll find a way to get you out of this. Don't get me wrong. You're not getting out of this mess easily. We have a code, you know? We can't bend the rules for just anyone. And I'm not exactly going to go lying to the captain either to get you off the hook. 
Hmm. How about this? We'll be making a stop on the mainland soon for supplies. While we're there, I'll let you go from the crew and claim I killed you for betraying us. From there, you can make a new living on the land and get something like a normal life back. No chance I'll be letting you take any of the treasure, but at the very least you can make a new life for yourself. Find your family again, whatever you want. Doesn't matter to me. Strictly speaking, you won't be dead to us, so there's no foul for me either. Just remember, you can't be seen at sea again. You hear me? If anyone recognises you, especially one of our crew, they'll be held to pay. Don't thank me, you idiot. It's not like I care about you or anything. Like I said, I respect selflessness around here. And I just think it would be a waste to kill a fine mate like you. Oh, and don't let anyone else know about this either. I don't need the rest of the crew thinking I'm some sentimental old sod. I have a reputation to maintain. You speak a word about this to anyone. And I promise you, it'll be the last you ever speak. Well, glad we've reached an understanding here. I'll let you out from those ropes, and keep you under my watch for the time being. You know, maybe this wasn't meant to be, but it was nice knowing you while it lasted. Uh, don't tell anyone I told you that either, alright? Now, what do you say we keep an eye out above deck? There's a fine view from up there, I tell you. 